Can you really make seltzers in four days? It's possible with the right yeast. I'm gonna show you my adventures and what I use during the whole process. It doesn't require as much as you think. It's simple, with a bit of patience. What you need is a huge pot that can fill up to five gallons if you're planning to make a lot, and distilled water. This huge jug only costs about three to four dollars and is the easiest way to get things done. Distilled water lacks calcium and calcium is important for the yeast, so you're gonna need yourself some calcium sulfate to replace it. I'll show you later in the video when I decide to throw it in. Crank up the heat to high, prepare your equipment. I can't stress enough about cleanliness. I've never spoiled a brew in my life, but it does get tired so I'm cleaning every single time. Now, the ingredients. Five pounds of corn sugar, a little bit of calcium sulfate, proper Celsius yeast nutrients. Last but not least, Lutra. This thing is gonna bang out the sugars. What you need is a little bit of calcium sulfate, one gram per gallon, so I'm going to slap about five grams into the batch. Give it a nice mix and let it settle. Leave the heat on high all the way through. Stove heating this much water takes time. This roughly took me 40 to 50 minutes to get the water at appropriate temperature. 180 Fahrenheit is where you want to be. It's enough to dissolve the sugars and get everything going. So 180. Now, it's time for the corn sugar. Five pounds of corn sugar goes into the batch. Give it a nice mix. You want this to go on for 10 minutes. Stir from time to time, don't let it sit completely. You want to get all the sugars dissolved. 10 minutes later, throw in a proper seltzer yeast nutrients. It will be the same process. Stir and mix for another 10 minutes and get everything dissolved. Then you should be good to go. I would recommend using a wort chiller. Always is a good way to go when it comes to brewing anything. It's good for the brew and it saves a lot of time. Turn off the heat, set the batch to the side, and hook up the wort chiller to the sink. I've done many brew sessions without one and it literally took me three to four hours to get the damn thing chilled. This? This took me 15 minutes. It was the best thing I ever decided to buy when it came to brewing. And be careful, the water that spews out first will be hot as hell, so don't touch it. I need to drop it to 95 Fahrenheit before I pitch the yeast. Lutra works good in high temps versus low, so don't drop it too far and don't forget to move the wart chiller around to even things out. Prepare and clean once again. This part drains me the most. Once everything has chilled to 95 Fahrenheit, take the batch out and throw it into a five gallon bucket. It may get messy, so get a towel on the floor. After this, I'm going to check the original gravity and see where it's sitting at. Don't forget the Lutra. Get that shit sanitized. I'm looking about 1048. It's not bad at all for a first start. I had this Lutra out in room temp for about 3 hours. You gotta give it time to warm up. Give it a nice shake for 30 seconds and dump it all inside. Close lid, rubber stopper, give it a bit of shaky shaky. And then last but not least, airlock. With a gallon bucket sometimes the spigot leaks, so double check it before you set it aside. This stuff is all room temp, so no need to worry about anything. Give it a couple hours and you'll see how fast the yeast rips through the sugars. It's aggressive. This yeast works differently. It could either take up to four days or less. It's already on 62 hours and stopped fermenting, so I felt like it was done at this point. It reads 10.04. Original gravity was at 10.48, so that means the ABV is at 5.7%. I have to say, this was good enough for me. I could let it sit a day longer, but I prefer not to. I think it's good where it's at. It has a little bit of a touch of sweetness, and I think it would match perfectly with the mango flavoring later on. What I decided on doing was bottling some and sending them to friends on the same day with flavoring. With their honesty, they said it's good, but didn't have enough mango flavor in it. It lacked a bit of carbonation. It was slightly sweet. A good sweet in a way. It was actually enjoyable versus store-bought, they said. With seltzers, they should have a clear look to it. So I'm going to try to clarify it with Kisa Soil and Cheeto San. I made a big mistake here since I misread on how to do this. You're supposed to add the Kisa Soil in and mix gently for 20 seconds. Then, one hour later, add the Cheeto San. Stir gently, and clarification should happen within 24 to 48 hours. I would dump in the flavoring, all of it, and let it cold crash for a day or two. Then you should be ready for bottling day. I got a bunch of 12 ounce bottles here, including some 40s, might as well. You guys can see the end product clearly through them after all this is done. As you guys can see, a shit ton of yeast at the bottom of the barrel. Doesn't look appetizing. Chill the bottles for a couple days and let's get ready to drink it. We should see by then. 
All right, Woo. guys, I am definitely excited for this. Uh, it's been sitting in the fridge about four to five days. Quite the clarification right there. You got a little bit of sediment at the bottom. No big deal, doesn't bother me. I know I should have used a bottle filler, but I felt like the bucket drain was just good enough. We're gonna test this and see what it's all about. The flavoring's already in there. It's been settling for like, like I said, three to four or five days around there. Even though it took two and a half days to ferment, you could have drink it right away. That's what I did. Ferment in two and a half days, put a little bit of like uh, the flavors in there and you're able to drink it right away. So here we go. Let's see what this is all about. All right. Okay. I don't get too much of mango smell, the mango smell, but it does smell sweet, really sweet. Oh, very sweet. I mean, it's not sweet to the point where it's like bothering. It's a nice light sweetness. Also, I do taste a little bit of mango. It's not so strong. It's just, I believe the right amount. It's not bad actually. I'll tell you one thing, it's not so carbonated. I guess it's because maybe the headspace inside the uh, gallon bucket. There's a lot of headspace, first of all. And I felt like I should have left it in there just like a little longer instead of two and a half days, right? But I'm gonna see the splash on it. Yep, just slight carbonation, all right? Doesn't look bad at all. Easy, easy to drink, light body. I can definitely taste the mango in there. I can definitely say one thing, okay, I've never been a salsa fan. And uh, creating one yourself, I have to say something. It's fun. And not just that, it tastes better. I personally would rather drink my own stuff than go out there and buy some seltzers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely say out of five stars, I'm definitely gonna give this like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it like a four out of five, honestly. I definitely say it's really good compared to the ones buying at a store. I just wish it could have been a little bit more carbonated, like sparkling water, right? But it's not. Um, I do have some ideas in the future to make this better, right? And to make the body a little thicker. But definitely, this is just the first series of it all. I'm gonna continue with the salsa series and see what we can create. And I came up with the name with this, guys. I decided to go with Booty Juice, all right? This is gonna be Booty Juice 1.0. And then we're gonna definitely just try to make a better seltzer every single time. Mm. It's good. Done. Woo. Uh, oh. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, this whole video. All right, I uh, put quite some work into it and I have another brew coming out. So that's almost done fermenting. So I'm definitely bottle those. And that's gonna be the next brew video. It's gonna be an interesting one, a really interesting one. So stay tuned guys, drop a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and much love to everybody, all right?